best upper body training. People said to me, what is effective way to do training? I train like this. So I always start with dynamic stretching. Then I do 30 minutes of cardio, like moderate cardio. And then I hate my weights. This training is hard. It might look easy, but it's very, very hard. So with weights, seated dumbbell shoulder press, you do four sets, medium to heavy weights. So you do two reps, medium speed, and two reps, very slow on a way down. The next exercise, you'll do standing cable one hand lateral raise. Do the warm up set with a light weight that I don't, I don't count that as a set. And a working set, uh, that's four uh, sets. Once you do this exercise, you go back to the exercise one. Then repeat these two exercises till you complete four sets. Rest and then do another two exercises. So you start with dumbbell bench pullover. Hit hard, hit to max. And then straight, you're going to do overhead tricep extensions your arms will be burning your triceps will be on fire your shoulders will be on fire so once you do four sets you move to another two exercises which is uh, i'm doing here the grip row um, it's the maximum i can lift it was very heavy it was very very heavy i did 10 reps or 12 I think I don't remember then straight after this exercise I moved to dumbbell standing rear delt raise so you don't need to lift heavy weights on this exercise you do sort of light to medium weights but you do as many as you can just hit hard once you do four sets then so three to four sets and then do the next 30 minutes of cardio, steady state cardio. How often do you do static stretching after training? Please comment below. I see a lot of people do static stretch before training and that's so wrong. If you do static stretch before training, you will not be as strong uh, as fast because you're switching off your muscles. Static stretch and dynamic stretch, it's like switching the lights on and off. So switching off, that's static, switching on, that's dynamic stretch. So know the difference. And please, please do static stretching after training and dynamic stretching before training. It's so important. You have no idea how important it is. Not just to avoid injuries. It's very important to progress if you want to progress. As you probably noticed, I don't post uh, videos as often as I did before, but I post regularly on my Facebook and Instagram. I try to get back on track and post uh, lots of videos on my YouTube channel. Uh, it just never happened. <laughs> it's just I wish I would have. Uh, like three four five people like me who can do all the jobs what i do uh, i just do everything myself and as you know uh, i'm mom of three and uh, now there's school holidays and uh, i do everything on my own so i try to post as many videos as i can uh, i will i will i will <laughs> how many videos do you want me to post every week please comment below that would be very interesting to know if you like this video please press like and if you are new to my channel please subscribe and if you are existing subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos following uh, my channel and commenting on my facebook and instagram thank you so much look after yourself look after your health your health is your wealth and i will see you very soon bye